Now, Iraqi government forces say they've launched their offensive on Mosul's old city, the last district held by ISIL. At least 100,000 civilians are still trapped there. Iraqi forces say they're opening five humanitarian corridors for civilians to leave. In the last 48 hours, they've dropped leaflets, telling people to stay away from ISIL hideouts. Well, Bernard Smith is live for us now. He's in the northern Iraqi city of Erbil. First of all, what's the latest with the Iraqi army's operation inside the old city? Well, Sammy, those 100,000 residents trapped in the old city will have known something significant was going to happen when the US-led coalition launched around 20 airstrikes overnight on targets, we're told, in the old city. Not long after that, at dawn, the Iraqi special forces, the regular army and the federal police from the north and the south of the old city launched this long-trailed plan to retake this last part of Mosul that remains under ISIL control. There are anything between 500 to 1,000 ISIL fighters in Mosul. The Iraqi, uh, special, uh, the Iraqi security forces have had the city surrounded for quite a long time now, but they've been concentrating the fighting in another district adjacent to the old city called Shifa. So this uh, attack, this attack to take the old city wasn't expected immediately, although it had long been said that the Iraqi security forces had wanted to take all of Mosul back before the end of the month of Ramadan. That's got about another, uh, perhaps just less than 10 days to go, and that is their stated ambition to take it back in the next 10 days, but we're talking about a very concentrated area, narrow alleyways, streets, house-to-house -house fighting. It's going to be a very challenging battle for the Iraqi security forces, Sammy. And talking about those civilians, are they able to access some of those safe corridors that the army says they've set up for them? I mean, yeah, the, uh, the Iraqi uh, security forces say there are five corridors safe corridors for civilians to go through. The problem is, as we understand it, ISIL isn't allowing them to leave. We've heard reports of some people have had their front doors welded shut to stop them leaving home. Other people who've tried to leave have been shot by ISIL. So those civilians are effectively trapped, and they're trapped in there without any access to fresh water, people drinking sewage water, without any access to food. And now they're trapped as this final battle uh, as the Iraqi security forces call it, this final battle for the last bit of Mosul really gets going, Sammy. All right, Bernard Smith, thanks so much.